So this week I had a show in Fredericksburg, and before I went, I was trying to decide whether to fly into D.C. two hours away for $100 more or fly into Richmond 60 miles away for $100 less. And my really close friend was like, no matter what you do, never fly into Richmond. Super sketchy. So I'm flying into Richmond. <laughs> and he was like, if you do fly into Richmond, never stay near the airport, because oof, that is brutal. So I'm staying at the Best Western Plus at the Richmond airport. <laughs> and apparently the plus in Best Western Plus stands for tonight there will be drug dogs in the lobby. I'm like, well, that's a plus. So I'm checking in like I'm Marty Simpson. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. And the guy behind the counter is like hard of hearing. He's like, where are you from? And I was like, Columbia. And then the drug dogs burst in the room. And I'm like, South Carolina. And then Maximus, this gorgeous German shepherd, goes running around the lobby, and they usher us all over to the little breakfast nook. And my buddy, let me tell you, that dog was awesome, because it took me about three seconds to have this thought. I wonder if drug dogs can smell dexedrine. <laughs> and Maximus went on point right into my bag, like <clears throat> And this is what you don't say, again, this is you can learn from my example what not to do, you don't say to the DEA officer in a bulletproof vest, I can explain the hit that your dog just got on my bag for cocaine. <laughs> the DEA doesn't have a real good sense of humor. But I tell you what, Maximus was awesome though, because he didn't get distracted by the coffee grounds that I'd thrown on my bag when it all started, because I've seen Breaking Bad. So this officer picks up my bag and unzips it and rifles through it, and he was like, sir, this dog has hit your bag for heroin. <laughs> and I said, I would like an attorney. <laughs> I don't know if there's one staying here at the Best Western Plus tonight, but if there's not, I would like one appointed to me. And he's like, sir, you need to sit down and be quiet. And I was like, oh, I will remain silent because I know whatever I say can and will be used against me in the court of law. And I don't know the DEA protocol, but I'm pretty sure I just arrested myself. <laughs> and then they told me to get in the, the back of the police car. I was like, are you asking me to get in the back of the police car or are you telling me to get in the back of the police car? And then the guy just kind of ushered me into the back of the car and I bumped my head going in the back of the car. And I was like, on TV, they always do this awkward thing where they push your head down. I'm like, why are they doing it so awkwardly on TV? They don't do it in real life. I'm in the back of the car with Steve. And I'm like, I don't know if we're arrested or not. And Steve is high. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe Steve is the reason that Maximus showed up. And I'm like, I think they need a warrant for this. So I'm like rolling down the window and it doesn't roll down in the back seat. apparently. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm like knocking on the window. And then I, get the, then I have the thought like, what does this look like from the outside? Like white Anglo-Saxon Protestant 50 year old, like, do y'all have a warrant for this? That doesn't really give off innocent vibes. So I just sit there and I wait patiently while my bag goes to toxicology. And then the police car takes me to the Richmond city jail. Yeah. 3 a.m., I'm calling Miss Pitts. <laughs> and I'm like, Miss Pitts. She's like, Marty? And I'm like, thank gosh, you're still alive. <laughs> but then the police officer bursts in and interrupts the phone call, hangs the phone up and throws the bag at my feet. And he's like, you're free to go. And I was like, okay, what happened? He's like, your bag tested positive for 2,800% of the daily recommended dose of fiber. <laughs> My bag tested positive for Metamucil, people. That's what it tested positive for. Yeah, this guy thought he caught Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. Nope, just a sleepy comedian with IBS. That's what... So I'm working the kinks out of that, but that happened Wednesday and I thought it was funny enough to share with you. My dad's an attorney, he's like, I think we have a lawsuit here. I was like, I think we're good. I think we should just move along, nothing to see here. 
Here's the best part. Maximus was right. Maximus smelled the dexedrine in a bottle in my bag under coffee grounds. The German shepherd deserves a pen. The idiot cop is like, look at this. And here's what you don't do. Last lesson, what you don't do is if you carry 13 days of Metamucil with you in your backpack, it is a bad idea to have wrapped each day individually in a small plastic baggie and spun it like this and then wrapped a garbage tie around it and then with a Sharpie labeled them one, two, three, four, five, and then put them all in a bigger bag that you labeled for your own entertainment, stash.